Our next look here on the Sunrise Show is a look at this gentleman and his scientific magic or his magical science. I'm not quite sure which it is, how we should describe it, but he's Jason Latimer. And this is a look at some of the videos I was checking out yesterday on his YouTube channel. So Jason uh, teaches science basically through his magic, through his illusions. And this morning he's doing it for us right here in the Sunrise Studios because this month, all month long in February, Jason will appear at OMSI on the weekends. Good morning. Good morning. I, I wanted to inspire curiosity and thought and wonder. So I thought moving with my background in applied science and my love for magic, could I inspire questions? and that's why I'm with museums. Here, I'll thumb through here. Okay. I mean, tell me when to stop whenever you feel like it. Okay. Right. Uh, see if I get through here. Stop. Right here, here, good. Hold, put, take a look at that card. Here, look at that okay. card. Okay. I'm gonna try to change it up with an innovation, new type of card trick here. I'm not going to pick your card or find your card. I'm actually just gonna draw your card on my arm, <laughs> okay? Uh, well, I need to show the audience what well, card it is yet? It, it, fine, that's fair, that works out here. Yeah, make sure everybody knows what the card is. Uh, Drew, am I close? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Am I close? Yeah, you, it is a, it is uh, a rectangle. I'll, 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 I'll add some uh, a card to this thing here. I've got a pretty good feeling I know what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to say it's the Ace of Clubs. Is it the Ace of Clubs? Well, I, see, this is the part of magic that I find that it's, it's, it's kind no? of tough. No, it's, it's not. All right, can all I right. Show, can I show what it is? No, 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 no okay. I'll tell you what. I'll put some dimensions on my drawing here, and now that's a deck of cards. Why am I the one sweating? And, and your card is in there. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of your card? Really? You want me to tell you? Yeah. I've seen the trick before. It's a, it's a four of diamonds. <laughs> four of diamonds? Yes. All right. I'm going to inspire thought and curiosity. I want you to tell you. I'm going to shake the drawing on my arm and cause your four of diamonds to rise out of my arm. Hmm. Now we're getting crazy. Four diamonds here, I'll tell you what. Four diamonds? Four, I'm thinking four, four good diamonds. Card. Here, come a little bit closer. Watch, watch carefully. The four diamonds, I'm gonna shake the drawing and I'll see if I can get the card to rise. Oh my goodness. What the heck? What? Stop it. Four diamonds? A a any, any questions? Yeah, how the heck you do it? <laughs> Everything we don't understand is magic. And when we take our time to apply questions and curiosity in a progressive manner, we end up deciding that Things that were impossible become possible through curiosity, and that's what I'm here. I, I saw, there's this you know age-old expression, right? That the only dumb question is the one that's not asked, right? Great. You, you have a great line about questioning. Yeah. Uh, the I, right question changes everything. Yeah. Yeah. So like when you think about flight, flight was always possible. We just didn't know how to do it till someone asked a question about lift. And every innovation, every new technology, it comes from somebody saying my question might be different than your the last question that was asked. And that's what we need. If we know the right question changes everything, why haven't we taken the time to inspire curiosity and wonder in the education environment? Well, we've seen what you can do with this arm. We're not quite sure yet what you can do with this arm. Well, so let's pick a different card. Yeah, well, six six <laughs> o'clock hour. Okay, six okay. o'clock hour is for your right arm. Here with us this morning because you're going to be at OMSI starting tomorrow and Sunday. I'm, I'm, I'm running uh, February 4th to 26th, right. Saturday and Sundays, six shows a weekend, but they're selling out, so make sure you get your ticket online as soon as possible. Three shows Saturdays, two on Sundays, all month long in February, and I think we need the help of a studio audience member. I'm going to see if we have one out there. It could be one over there. Young lady, okay. you look like you could be fun. <laughs> Sir? You, you look like you could be fun here with Jason. What do you got for Brenda, Jason? Uh, well, well, everything we don't understand will look like magic, and when we were seeing some of the clips from the YouTube channel with Collins Key and Devin Key, we actually made a ping pong ball vanish, but we actually got it up to supersonic speeds and vanished it into a watermelon. Wow. So we split a watermelon with a ping pong ball. I saw ball. that. It yeah, was awesome. it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> uh, now, in this case, I wanted to do a magic trick where I need you, Brenda, if you place your hands over the bowl like this, I'm going to take these two pitchers of water and I'm going to pour them through your hands. Okay. Your job is to make sure nothing comes out of these pitchers of water except for water. Okay? okay. Here we go. All right, here we go, Brenda. Uh, Brenda, have you ever helped a magician before? <laughs> no, this is my first time. Well, you're not helping one now. A little oh, bit lower and in the bowl, okay, so I don't spill okay. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. Should yeah. I have rolled your sleeves up for you? Yeah, I, no, I apologize. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Why don't you do this? Why don't you roll up your sleeves? Because I want you to feel around inside that bowl and make sure there's no hidden compartments, trap doors, or mirrors. I'll get you a towel. All right. No, it's solid. It's no. It should be liquid. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's actually the opposite, Brenda. You know, the bowl is solid, absolutely. Now, now, magic is really about inspiring people to, or for me, it's about inspiring people to ask questions. And in this case, I want you to dream about the magic of controlling water. Like, what would that look like? Here, if you grab that side and that side, here, and if you lift straight up, is there anything underneath the bowl, on the floor, on the table? Uh, no? Water. Okay, but perfect. Dripping. No. Now, watch carefully about this. Over the horizon, like beyond what we can see, that's where the next cure is. 
Thank you, Drew. Over the horizon, <laughs> that's where the next technology is beyond what we know. Sure. So we have to inspire people to ask questions to see over the horizon. And in this case, what would it look like if we could roll water into a shape? First, mm. you have to ask questions. First question is, what shape are we going to make? Sure. Second question should be, how strong would surface tension have to be to make a shape? That's what I was thinking. As you get, thank you, Drew. As you get older, you can start setting, you can start setting chemistry. And if you start setting applied chemistry, you could say, what could increase the surface tension of water? If we get a close up for this, what could increase the surface tension of water <gasps> to, to bring a shape Stop out it. of water? What the heck? Place your hands together. Both, don't pop it, otherwise we're both getting wet, okay? It will ripple. It will wobble. I am freaking out. No, this is weird. What? It, it, now, there was no magic section at the local Home Depot to pick up the lake, uh, <laughs> where, how to shape water. This illusion did not exist anywhere in the world, uh, trick or not, real or, or illusion. This did not exist anywhere until somebody wonders if it could. Okay, so here's the deal. That's wild. There's two things happening here that we have to wrap up in 20 <laughs> seconds. One, there was a part of Brenda's brain on the floor. She blew the woman's brain. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell, I gotta tell, I gotta tell. I gotta put it back <laughs> inside of her head. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, when can you see this man? You can see him starting this weekend. I, I got news on that. We added an extra show on Sunday because Did the shows you? were selling out. So this we're doing Sunday? six shows a weekend. Oh, okay. not this Sunday, we had to, because there's already ticket spots, so we're doing six shows every weekend from now until the 26th. You want the complete schedule, go to that website on your screen. It is omzi.com. Edu, Jason Latimer, world champion magician at OMSI all month long. <laughs> Thank amazing. you, Brenda. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. I'm just happy it didn't pop. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>